Hey everybody! As you see, I'm going to talk about my uh, Death Stranding first impressions. If you did not join Momo and I for Twitch yesterday, right Momo? Yeah, you slept the whole time. Momo gives it five stars, right? A++ would snooze again, right Momo? And we have to figure out another show tune for Patreon, right? In honor of a lot of the singing I did during, uh, during the stream. Here we go. Patreon become one. Patreon.com slash Anna K. That was, of course, Papa, can you hear me? That's actually from Yentl, not originally Deadpool. Anyway, so um, as you see, I'm very giddy because I just played like three hours of Death Stranding. I got to the sort of part of the game where you start getting the ladders and the rope made of blood and all that stuff. And so I can give you something of a sense of the game, which is that it's it's a Kojima game. It's strange and it's fun and it's not totally outside the box, but it's not quite like anything else you've ever played either. Like many Kojima games, there are very long cutscenes. Like uh, many Kojima games, the dialogue in places is just hokey as anything, and that's part of the fun. There's a lot of sort of uh, Americana, like American action movie put through kind of a Japanese blender. There's a character named Die Hard Man that tells you everything you need to know about the game. Well, that and Lindsay Wagner is president. That that should be like all you need to know about Death Stranding. So if you think those things are cool, you'll probably like you'll probably like the game. Um, in terms of gameplay, it is very much a a porter game. You have to navigate um, from place to place, creating strands from knots with stealth mechanics and uh, weight capacity and balance stuff. You know, like those little mini games in the six axis controller on uh, uh, the early Uncharted games? Well, you're doing that with the left and right trigger. It sounds like meh, but it's actually fun because of the way it's done. The description of the game and the experience of the game are not the same. The idea of just balancing in rough terrain sounds really freaking boring, but it's not because you've got this like fetus that allows you to see dead people and Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, it's a Kojima game. And so far I'm enjoying it. I don't really care about the premise. I don't really care about saving America. I don't really care about any of the sort of symbolism or esoterica that's going on. It's just fun. And that's absolutely what I'm in the mood for right now. Much like the old action movies that the game is constantly referencing. So, um... I can see, uh, and I've I've read a little bit of stuff. I didn't want to read too much on the game because I knew I was going to play it, uh, and I didn't want to be biased by reviews. But I can see people really overthinking the concept of the game and what it means. And as far as I'm concerned, you're doing it wrong if you do that. It's not a movie. It's a game. Despite people saying it seemed like Kojima really wanted to make a movie. It's not. It's a game. Early on, there's a lot of cutscenes because they're trying to explain the game to you and the whole premise and everything like that. It is a bit slow going, but not as slow as I expected it to be, which really surprised me. There was there was enough like getting the idea of the mechanics. And yes, there are 20 minute cutscenes off the top. Be prepared for that. But uh, then the game opens up and it's very much a kind of like hub and spoke open world thing with um you can use the toilet standing up and sitting down and they analyze your pee it's it's a very japanese take on um an american apocalypse meets like the pony express but that is way overthinking it if you overthink this game you are not going to enjoy it 
if you do what I did and got giddy and like riffed on the whole thing and just had fun, you'll enjoy it a lot. And that's what I've always found with every like Kojima game I have ever played. It gives you back what you put into it. If you're going in for just a fun experience and you're going to take it on its terms, then that's what you're going to get. If you want a really deep experience, well, there's a lot to read into and overthink. But at the same time, I guess the people who like the thinky thinky, well, I guess that's good for them. People like me who just want to have a good time and basically video game shitpost, you can do that too. Which is an amazingly um, flexible game for something whose basic mechanics are carrying capacity, stealth, and balance. And again, that gameplay sounds extremely boring. It's not because of sort of the the visual world that's been painted. It it it's a very good tutorial if you don't mind the 20 minute cutscenes because of the fact that it it is doling out the mechanics very very slowly. Now, I was playing on normal uh, I was not playing on easy or very easy. I was playing on normal. Um, and the uh, descriptions of the different difficulty modes are very funny. But um, the it doles out enough that you feel like you understand the game, which is good because these sorts of things in, in Western audiences, people like me have never really encountered a complete game like this before. I understand there is a very niche genre that's this kind of thing within, like it's a subgenre of action games. Um, but, uh, you still feel like you're doing something and things get interestingly intense very quickly. So it's a cool hybrid of stuff. I, I wouldn't agree that it's a new type of game. It's basically an environmental, um, exploration action game. That's what it is. Um, there, there hasn't been like anything like that from like a triple A AAA kind of mass consumption point of view. Um, and apparently some comments have been made about how it hasn't been um, well, well received by the critics. And somebody brought that up while I was playing it. And that's very strange because I'm looking it up. In terms of Google reviews, it's got an 88%. In terms of Metacritic, it's got an 83%. Those are pretty good reviews. But in this day and age, anything less than 10 out of 10 is considered a bad review. And that's what's part of the problem with, with the dialogue about video games right now. Um, and so what... Kojima has said about the mixed reviews, again, I'd say 83% is actually good in terms of game reviews. But he said, I must say the game has received some enthusiastic reviews above all in Europe and Japan. He, here in the US, instead, we've had stronger criticisms. Perhaps it's a game that's difficult to understand for a certain type of critic and some of the public. Uh, they actually misspelled it on this website as pubic, which is hilarious. So I have to show you. Perhaps it's a game that is difficult to understand from a certain type of critic and some of the pubic. Which is not how he wrote it because it's a translation. Um, so, okay, that's pretty funny. But Americans are some of the biggest first-person shooter fans and Death Stranding isn't that. Okay, so. Um, they're right. It's not that. Um... It, they also said uh, the Sony translation. Oh, my goodness. Like, wow, this is so meta. Uh, that was a fan translation. The official Sony translation of the comment to the mixed feedback is in America, there are a lot of FPS fans. Maybe those fans are saying this is like a different game and are not rating it very high. Um, people took exception to that. Um, I... I think that's probably why I'm enjoying the game because it is different. I am also playing through Gears 5 right now and I am bored as anything. 
I am playing through the outer worlds. And while I find the characters charming, it's the same old, same old. So I think there are different strata of players. And I'm not intending to be elitist when I say this. This is this is just the reality of different um different places in gaming. I've been gaming for a long time. I've been gaming since 1981. So the shooty shooty, the open world shooter game I've played them a million times. There's only so many flips on those mechanics that you can have. I am enjoying that it is different. Some people don't want that. Some people want that adrenaline rush of shooters. That's great if you do. If you want that, I'm not actually sure whether you'll... uh, whether you enjoy it or not, because there is sort of an intensity to it, but it isn't shoot, 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 shoot. It's it's sneaking through. It's it's carrying boxes on your back. If you want that more traditional AAA shooter experience, like I said, there's Outer Worlds and Gears 5 out right now. You'll probably enjoy those more. If you're like me and enjoy the more novel experiences. It it really does feel like, as one person in, in the Twitch chat said, kind of this niche indie game with a AAA budget. Now, what I will say, it's visually beautiful. It's the best performance capture I have ever seen in terms of the people being recognizable. Um, and yet it still has kind of this surrealist quality that I thought was actually like rough, graphical roughness. I When I saw it in previews, I don't think it actually is that. I think it's actually deliberate, that slightly surrealist uh, look that you've seen in previews. Um, I'm not going to say why, because that's kind of the kind of interesting uh, journey of discovery. Um it is very out there. It is, I think, deliberately, I'd almost say campy because it really does feel like an auteur game designer doing an homage to 80s movies. And for some odd reason, Norman Reedus is perfect for that. Though I think Lindsay Wagner is perfecter. When, when somebody... When somebody just has the raw cool to put the woman who played the bionic woman in a video game as president of the United States, that's awesome. Like, that's really cool. They understand cool. They are able to be cool and not just copy cool. Kojima can actually invent cool. And not everybody understands new cool. They need cool to to pass through the kidneys a few times and get and get good and mellow and recycled before they can like appreciate why it's cool. Some people have to be told why something is cool. But if you're more like me, where you don't need to be told something's cool, you'll decide for yourself whether something is cool or not. This game has a lot to offer. The the mechanics are all almost like the 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 imbalance the sheer displacement of jumping into this world is sort of reflected in the game mechanics and i i think it's a very very interesting um dialogue that way i'm enjoying like plotting out the different ways to to get through environments i like again i think the game doles it out like teaches you how to play exceptionally well So don't feel intimidated because it's new. It will teach you how to do the thing. And it's just, it's so Japanese. And yet it's so like Americana at the same time. And I think that's the best. That's what video games do well right now. That that is sort of the best of video games in a very real way. Um, 
and I'm enjoying it. If you would like to see more Death Stranding, I'll be streaming more of it on Twitch at uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern. Are we in daylight savings time? Eastern daylight time? I think we're on daylight savings time now. The clocks went back. Yes. Uh, no. Yes. Fall back. Right, right. Um, but uh, it, it's probably the best way to figure out. A few people went in going, oh, good. I'll watch this because I'm not going to play it. And then at the end, we're like, you know, I might pick this up. So that was very cool. The best thing to do is like, like check out, check out some streams of it. Don't worry if the plot doesn't make sense because you're jumping in three hours in. It didn't make sense at the beginning. <laughs> okay. It's Kojima. It's random. There are a lot of, there are a lot of, um, you'll notice a lot of stuff that is very evocative of his past games as well. Uh, little nods to sort of long-term fans. And it's like, okay, that's not much to that. And that's kind of like that. And like, okay, this is all cool. Um, but if you're new to it, you don't need to know the references. The things sort of stand on their own um, because they are so strange and you have to take them on as terms. Okay? Okay? Hopefully that, uh, that explained my thoughts of it. Um... Thanks for watching. Uh, what am I going to do for, for Patreon now? You should become a Patreon. Oh, I messed that up again. Anyway, I'll keep working on the show tunes. People seem to like the show tunes. Patreon, I will work on that. So thanks for watching. Become a patron. Patreon.com slash Anna